dusk approached on the 1st of February, the artists of Corner Trust were making the final touches for an auction supporting upcoming artists. Since its inception in 1995, the Corner Trust has trained and helped over 1,500 artists realize their dreams and today was no exception. In their hubs or proudly displayed outside was a plethora of painters, metalworks, and sculptors. The paintings echoed the abstract and played on the imagination. A perfect blend of brazen color and style. The sculptures perfectly aged and precisely chiseled. For the intrepid artist in you, metalworks and flawlessly polished etched wood carvings. As the sun ducked beneath the clouds, corner at night came to life. Campfires and lightly drizzled fairy lights lit and warmed the perfectly blended crowd of artists and supporters. What followed was a night of raffles, music, and appreciation. I'd like to thank um, Firstly, the artists who've participated, all 53 of them, I think, and hopefully, mo I think most of them are here tonight. The raffle ensured that no one went home empty-handed. Different mediums, shapes and sizes, but all beautifully and precisely crafted. A lifetime worth of art. Try and say one or two things about my personal experience of being a collector. And I think the place for me to start, really, is why I think art and artists are so important um, and by one of those sort of serendipitous coincidences when I was flying over here the night before last I was reading a magazine in which there was a, a Nigerian poet quoted whose words I wrote down and then promptly lost but the word that the word his words were to the effect of that after we are all gone what will be left behind as a testimony to who we are and to our evolution is art After the raffle came the auction, and the stakes were very high. I've got 40,000, 50, thank you, sir. 100,000 shillings, 120, thank you, sir. I have 140, I have 150, thank you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. 170, 200,000, 200,000 shillings. Over 2 million shillings was raised to build more artist studios at the Corner Trust. As the embers on the fire began to fade, the night fully a success, the artists all came up in a show of support. For those of you who do not know, I can with a lot of confidence tell you that Kwana Trust is basically responsible for the creation of what is termed as the second generation of Kenyan artists right now. And that is no main fit. And finally, one more burst of energy. Eric Wainaina took us all home on a carpet of sound and melody. Today's show would not be complete without our artists to watch. Born in 1977, Willis Otieno is an art diploma graduate of Mongaza Art School in Kisumo. This man turns trash 
into this. One of a kind Taka Taka treasure pieces. People called him mad when he began this, but I bet they are kicking themselves now. Proud to display his heritage, Willis creates anything from landscapes and animals to more ethnic pieces of men and women, all celebrating our heritage. Willis is an innovative creator that encompasses a true artistic spirit. This makes him today's artist to watch.